841 AM Quad Cities News Talk 1420 WOC. Joining us in the studio is Dan and Dan on AM Quad Cities, the coach, Coach Ruskowski. How are you, Coach? Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, Coach. Hey, Coach. Good morning. Um, Good morning. All right. Can you explain the playoff picture here? I mean, you you, you should make the playoffs, right? You need a point, basically. <laughs> See, don't I'm, jinx them. We, we need, you yeah. don't ever say that. Oh, Lord. We need one point in the next two games, or they have to lose one. But I don't think they're going to lose one because they haven't lost one and know the team is really helping us. So we have to put it in ourselves either to win a hockey game or to tie one game to get one point to make the playoffs. But it's like everything else. That last point, your last two points are the hardest ones to get. Right. So you just, like I said, win, win and game. you're in, right? Yep. And win or tie. I mean, yep. because you can, as long as you, you get, as long as you go to an overtime or do an overtime shootout, right. you guys will make the playoffs. Right. Uh, so, and when that's going to happen, yes, we're, we're pretty confident of that, well, right? I'm praying for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, with I mean, this team, you expect the unexpected. This you know, is. We, I did, going into Fort Wayne, I thought, gosh, they had four guys sent down from the American League. I'm going, oh my gosh, we're in trouble tonight. Yeah. And the guys really played well. Yeah. And then I thought, okay, these guys, you know, the guys are teams okay but not great, and then we just don't play well. And I'm going, why? Yeah. Why? What have you figured out the answer to why? Well, no. That's why you're the coach. That's why I don't sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep like a baby. Um, I cry for an as- hour. I sleep for an hour. I cry <laughs> for an hour. I sleep for an hour. <laughs> can it be as easy as saying maybe my I need to switch up my lines a little bit, mix and match? Uh, I, you, Listen to I, Dan. <laughs> you, you, you would think. Changing golf balls maybe would help. I, I have I, no I, idea. I change clubs, but you know, if I'm not hitting one, really, I just go to another set. Because it can't be me. I asked Dan one time, I said, how's your short game? And he says, off the tee or around the green. <laughs> Shecky Green is here with us in the studio this morning. Um, I love it. What a season it's been, though. I mean, oh, this gosh. Is, you know, the, the crowd, is just it's been pretty amazing this year, hasn't it? Really has been. It, it's We've had our ups, we had our downs. We started off pretty well, actually. We started going up in the standings. And then we had call-ups and injuries, and that really hurt us. We, we did okay for a while, but... When that situation happens, it catches up to you later on. Yeah. And uh, we just couldn't get out of our tailspin for a while. And we got guys back, got guys healthy, and then we started playing okay again. So, Did you guys pull th- some people back from Des Moines? Did I see that? or They they have been coming back. Okay. Yeah, they have been coming back. Uh, so they gave you a break. Because I think the last time we talked, you weren't quite sure what was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Because their season isn't over yet. But they have one they... More, we have one more week before their season is over. So we got, they sent, what happens is their draft picks that can go back to college or junior, they'll send them down to Des Moines to get the feel of what American hockey is all about for next year. So when they, when they, when they playing or when they sign into a contract, then they know exactly what to expect. So, and then it, ha- it actually gives them a look to see how they compare against American hockey league teams. Right. Well, they're coming down, the filter, the filter effect comes down. The guys that, that they, they that didn't play very much comes down, back down to me. So that's how I, you know, I've gotten night in those guys. Tell me if I'm just seeing this in my head or if I just or just something You're I want to believe. Just in your head. <laughs> I have noticed that this year and the few and I've been to a few games this year, I've noticed that they seem to be the pace is a lot quicker than it was when it was just a CHL. Now that you're with the ECHL, you have a different pool of people to pull from, I think. I've, I've just noticed the. it just seems like a quicker game this year. It, it, it certainly is. It, and if you can't skate fast, you can't, if you're not a good skater, you're going to struggle. There, there's no question about it. There's no question about it. But you look at the NHL. You know, NHL right. has changed, too. That Like, if you don't have speed and if you can't skate, you're not going to make it there. There's, it's simple as that. It's gone to so much speed now. It's incredible. I... I'm always, I was always a firm believer. There's so much talent now in the NHL, especially that I think they should make the rigs bigger to give the people with more talent room to make more plays and Olympic do different size. things. I, I, yeah, or maybe a little bit smaller, but something like that. Because you look at the Olympics, it's really exciting. Like they're really good players. Like they really come out. Right. They really come out and perform because they got more room to do it. Now it's gone to such a checking game. If you don't have speed and you can't check. Well, I mean, I mean that's it, good. and the size of the players keeps getting big too. Ah. So you're getting faster and bigger. Yeah, and you know, guys six four, six five before couldn't skate, and you go, oh, good, I like, I can burn this guy easily. You know, right. going wide or making a quick yeah. pass. Yeah, not so much anymore, guys. Yeah. Not so much. They're quicker, faster, stronger. I'm glad I retired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were you were, you were one of those quick guys, right? You uh... actually, I wasn't. Actually, I was a very bad skater. 
I was kind of kidding. I, yeah. yeah I was, I, yeah. You, right. you were that guy who would... Uh, I guess you saw me play. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you were that... Yeah. that there was the time where yeah. you could really just have the enforcer or be yeah. the, you know, it, that that doesn't, that position is not as uh, prevalent yeah. as it once was. Yeah, I guess it, it really the, the ideal scenario, if you can get a really tough guy that can play like the third line, that can actually play a little bit, yeah. they're in huge demand because they keep peace on the ice and keep the other guys, our guys, if we get a guy like that to... Go ahead and play. Somebody fools around with you. I'll take care of it. But you've got to play. You can't just be a tough guy and not play. You got to be a tough guy and can play. And those guys are far, 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 far away, and I can't find them. <laughs> so you want to do I will find well, no, them. You know, you're young enough. Why can't you place on the skates and just be the tough guy? <laughs> I could be the. Uh, I could be the, the crash dummy. I mean, I could get out there and take one hit, and then that would be pretty much it. Yeah, you'd be so. the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, right. We'd, we'd play just, bro- bone crushers with you. You yeah. just need somebody to lay on the yeah. ice in front yeah. of somebody? I can do that. We used to go around the net with your eyes closed, and the guy, big guy comes from the blue line and hits you right behind the net. We call that bone crushers. I've seen sort of that, and I don't want to be part of that. <laughs> I've done some, I've done some of that to some guys, and which I should never have done because they were bigger, stronger, and tougher than me. <laughs> let's uh, let's paid, talk about. I paid the price. Let's talk about the games this weekend because these are very important very games important. for the Mallards. I mean, besides the fact that you know maybe hope I'm got fingers crossed that we can get you know we can clinch the playoffs yeah. tonight. Um, but <clears throat> if not, we got another chance on Saturday. But Saturday is the final regular season game, and it seems like they're giving away like the the everything in the kitchen cupboard here. There's there's big giveaways on Saturday. Yeah, night. there's there's going to be a thing with um, one of our players. Honoring him for last game. Yeah, Darren McMillan, the bobblehead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, yeah, every game is so important, and we have fan appreciation, and and uh, that's what we have our last game for. Is we appreciate the fans coming out. Uh, the Booster Club has been awesome for us. They always have provide Good. everything for us. The fans have been great. Our sponsors have been terrific. Our sponsorship has gone up from uh, the year before. Our season tickets have gone up from the year before. So that's why it's so important for us, gentlemen, to make the playoffs. It's just like preparing for a party all year long, and then when you get to the door, and when you don't make the plate off, they won't let you in the party. Right. And I don't want to be that guy outside no. looking in. I want to be inside looking out. Yeah, you don't want to be in that tux looking through the window. <laughs> yeah. you know, waiting no, no. Well, it's so, raining on you outside, yeah, and yeah. now the other guys are dancing with your dates and everything. Yeah, and, yeah, it's yeah, just, it's, yeah, you don't want to be yeah, that, that the limousine guy. driver pulls off. So that, that we're talking <laughs> so. about the Saturday night game there where they're doing the Darren McMillan uh, bobblehead giveaway. Also for that Saturday night game, uh, you can text – I'm going to give you a number here. Uh, jump on QC, J U M P O N Q C. Jump on QC to eight eight six seven eight. You get some really cool uh, discount offers for uh, tickets for that final game. So that's eight eight six seven eight. Text jump on QC if you want uh, those offers. Now that's Saturday night's game. Friday night tonight, you guys, and you're taking on Cincinnati. Both of these games here. It's dollar beer, dollar dog night over at the Iowa Center. Oh, yeah. It's dollar beer, dollar dog, could clinch the playoffs. Let's fill this place up tonight. Let's rock and roll tonight. And I hope our guys meet the challenge that we have to uh, put this to bed early. But Cincinnati's got a very good hockey team. They're well coached. They, they, uh, they've got good talent. Um, we always have a real tight game with them. And hopefully uh, yeah, you, we can you, come out tonight and do well. You don't want to go down to the last game. No, gosh, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. Think so. I, I mean, don't. I don't want to do that, guys. We'd rather you not. I ra- I'd rather Now, not. is Tulsa, they have two games left, or is this their last They game? have two games left against uh, Wichita. They they beat Wichita the last game on Wednesday, 5-1 to one in Wichita. Uh, they play Wichita again tonight in Wichita, and then Wichita goes to Tulsa. Um, oh, see, so. he did know. Yeah. I was thinking you wouldn't be paying attention to that stuff. Oh, I know. Yeah, I was I thinking you're more of a uh, not coach alive that would not know. I was thinking you were more of a. I don't is. care. Just go out and win. I don't care about this other stuff. You win. Well, we're that in may the be what he tells his players, yeah. but yeah. But you know, I look back and I go, okay, they're playing Missouri in Missouri. They're the best, one of the best team, well, best team in, in the league. Okay, we have a good chance of if they're losing and we win, and we can wrap it up. No, All right. No, <laughs> we. You know, they go to Evansville after we play them. They beat them in Evansville, beat them in Missouri, go to Wichita, they beat them there. I go, oh, this is it. This is nobody's helping us. What about uh, Come how, on. How, are, how are you guys against Cincinnati? We're, I think we're 500 against them. Okay. Yeah, so it's, like I said, it's an even contest. And um, again, just, you know, I hope the players realize, obviously they do, but what they have to do is just, you know, block a shot, even if they have to, you know, no one's going to hurt. You got to do it for the team. Rah, yeah. rah, just boom, bah. 
Right. Um, and and that, that's what it is. You know, take a check to make a play, give a check to make a play. We just, everything that, the little things that, that people forget about, we've got to do it. Not on a one-time basis, but on an every-time basis. All right. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. <laughs> yeah, one more in there you can yeah, throw we in. Got one we just got to... Yeah, if we weren't here, we'd be someplace else. There you go. All there right, you thank you. Thanks. Hey, Thanks. Yogi Berra, Shecky Green. I mean, he's <laughs> yeah, all... Uh... <laughs> Nobody goes there anymore because it's too crowded. <laughs> Yogi, very nice. I love him. Uh, tonight, 7.05, and tomorrow, 7.05 at the Iowa Wireless Center, the uh, final two regular season games for the Mallards. Hopefully not the final games of the season. We just need to pick up a point. So get Please. out tonight. Oof. Dollar beer, dollar dog night. No reason not to get out there. It is uh, eight fifty one. Coach Ruskowski, good luck, and Thank you hopefully guys. we can talk to you about some talk to you about some playoff games. Yeah. Coming oh, up I'd love here to. Soon. I'd love to do that. Thanks, guys, for having me on. Appreciate it is it. eight fifty one. Dan and Dan at AM Quad Cities. <laughs>